everyone, welcome back to France for yet another episode, so I can't remember the number, of uh, the Big Breakfast Challenge. And if these people would get out of the way, I'd be able to pull in here and we can sell, or not sell, but deliver this load of bales. Oh yes. Now as you saw in the little intro sort of montage there, we were doing the massive bailing contract on field, uh, whatever it is, 51, 52, something like that. So let us drop off. I think this is the last one. There we go. Fantastic. We've completed the contract on field 51. And we've got 3,000 uh, and a bit euros in profit money. Oh, yes. So that's good. The contract is completed now. However, we still have a little bit of work to do, and we're going to take a, a cheeky side route just through here, through the bushes at the back of the um, great factory, because if I turn the high beams on, or the wide beams or whatever, you may be able to see in the dusk, we have quite a few um, barrels, not barrels, um, hay bales left to pick up from here. So, yeah, this is going to... How bad of a slope is that? Ah, that will do. Uh, this is going to run us into January as we try and get all these loaded and picked up. Now, I'm kind of thinking this load, depending on how many we've got left over, we may just end up um, selling and uh, taking whatever's left into uh, back to the farm. Uh, it just depends on how full the trailer gets. Oh, let me turn the lights on on this too. There we go. Uh, it depends on how full the trailer gets, to be honest, and how much is left over once it's full. Because I haven't done a complete count, but I would imagine there's going to be at least one more entire load of uh, of bales sat here. I don't see it being uh, anything less. I mean, we're going to have a quick count now. I don't know if there's anything up there, but we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, plus the two that are on there. So we're looking at a solid sixteen odd uh, bales of hay left over. And I didn't mean to do that. But there you go. These things happen. <laughs> uh, but yes, so we're going to have a solid um, sixteen barrels. Barrels? Bales. 16 bales of hay. What was I looking at that's making me think these are barrels? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're looking at a solid 16 odd um, bales of hay, which is more than this trailer can take, I think. We shall have to see. Can I flip you up? There we go. Oh, that worked. Sort of. So long as I can... There we go. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to load this up. Possibly uh, we might run into the morning, uh, into January, I think, it, yeah, January, um, just because it's starting to get quite dark, obviously, and we can only do so much in the dark. But we shall see how it goes. I mean, how bad could it get, really? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll get uh, get the rest of this done, and then we'll come back again in the morning in January and uh, see where we go. Because, like I say, I think we're going to sell this little load off, and um, if there's any extra, we'll bring them back up to the farm because we are going to need them. Because the next thing on our agenda is going to be getting some animals on the go because we need to. Animals are important, and are an important part. I'm going to strap these down just to make sure they don't run away. Uh, yeah, animals are an important part of the challenge. Good, they've all strapped. Lovely. And uh, the sooner we can get them going, uh, the sooner, you know, I figure we'll... We've got feed now, at least, so that's good. Um, straw will be useful, but not necessary, exactly. Uh, I know if we want to use it, we have to make our own. That was part of the rules. We can't just buy bedding. But I don't know if uh, bedding is an actual requirement. So much as uh, 
you know, uh, obviously the animals will be fine without bedding for a little while. We'll just end up with uh, uh, majoritively slurry being produced, which is fine. Uh, we can always sell that or get a sprayer or something and use it. Depends on what's for sale and what comes up for sale. Oh, speaking of sales, let me check quick now while I think about it. Because, ah yes, this little jobby came up for sale. Seven grand for a uh, three and a half meter corn header. Now, it's not the biggest, it's not the best, but the tray, the trailer, the combine that we've got is not the biggest or the best either. And for the size of the fields that we've got, that we'll be working with, um, I don't think that's going to be too bad of an option. So we're going to purchase that right now while we've got the money, before anything bad happens. Uh, we've also got, what else, is there anything else? No. Although that class might be a, eventually a good upgrade, I don't think we're going to buy the header for it just yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, that trailer's almost an upgrade. I mean, well, that trailer's a massive upgrade, to be honest. But we don't actually need a new trailer at the minute. So, yeah. I think we'll hold off on that for now. We'll hold off on the trailer side of things. Because there are some other odds and ends that I've got my eye on that we will definitely need because we are going to have to get um, potato equipment for the pigs because they will need an assortment of food. Now I know we've got canola at the moment and that is... See part of the problem too is when we get animals we don't actually know what they need in terms of food specifically until we get them. Uh, obviously cows generally speaking will take um, hay grass and uh, total mixed ration so um, what we'll be feeding them predominantly I think is hay uh, we might do a total mixed ration at some point I haven't decided um, the barn that we've got does have a robot so we could do it like that um, it, it really just depends on how we're feeling but certainly we can get them started with hay now pigs I'm not sure of and uh, because we've got the uh, not platinum, the premium expansion installed as well, they may also take root crops as um, oh, not just root crops not just your standard sugar beet and potatoes they may also take carrots and um, uh, what are those other things uh, like parsnips and uh, beets and stuff and that is something we are going to have to check on, uh, obviously corn as well, and this um this map also comes with uh, a red lettuce I think is what it is uh, as a product from one of the greenhouses and I think that is also part of one of the animal feed options but I can't remember if it was for cows or sheep or pigs or all of them to, to be quite honest so that might be something that um, we'll have to either test off camera or potentially just wing it and make sure we've got some food available like if we do uh, some potatoes then obviously we know like potatoes and I think canola is good for pigs corn usually is so maybe if we get some harvesting contracts come up next year we'll keep an assortment of um, leftovers and uh, just like buy one or two pigs get them loaded in see exactly what they're gonna need and then uh, there we go and then um, then sort of work out from there so they can just run on like basic food options to begin with uh, or who knows maybe there's some um, feed wagons or not feed wagons but uh, actual feed mods okay that just has to do that doesn't it that's annoying Come on. Why are you being like that to me, game? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got some uh, some options there with the animals that we are going to look into. Uh, but yes, first of all, cows, hay, cows, um, all that fun stuff. Yes, so uh, I'll get the rest of this trailer loaded and uh, we'll come back early in January and see where we stand with everything because we'll have money to collect, potentially things to buy, 
bales to sell, all sorts of fun things going on. Right then, we are back again. It is now early January, and we have the last full trailer of bales to sell. Now, uh, besides this trailer, there were two bales left over, but this was as high as I could stack it with um, or without the uh, uh, foldable things on the side, so I didn't try and overload it or anything. Uh, but let's see what we get for this. Unstrap the lot, and we got, oh, just under six grand. Oh, that's awkward. I was hoping we'd get a bit more than that, but hey-ho. Maybe the price has gone down. Yeah, it's 109. Oh, well. Who knows? Maybe it was 110 previously when we were selling them. But, oh, crumbs. The old 2CV's trying to run me over again. Just come zipping around there like you've got no care in the world. <laughs> but, yes. So, our first order of the day now is to get the... Uh, 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 what is it? All the equipment back to base. Now, we did have a tiny hiccup, which uh, I will show you all a little bit about in just a second. Uh, but yeah, we're going to park this up here. Oh, crumbs. I'm going over the hill. I didn't mean to go quite that far. I should have actually pulled forwards a bit further than I did. But yeah, actually, no, we are going to... We'll just pull on to the... Uh, the field bit here and then reverse up this way because I'm going to be loading things on with the old uh, Avant shortly uh, but yes what uh, what has happened if I go to the oh first things first um, let's cash in these contracts we've got just under five grand for the field 52 that was the uh, long thin field next to the farm and 12,630 12, from this massive field 51 contract and there's no more contracts so yay no more grass work for right now <laughs> uh, but yes so uh, the coffee greenhouse this is where the problem has occurred uh, as you remember from last time we bought some of this liquid fertilizer in the barrels to put in here and uh, in order to free up the trailer for the baling contract I figured I'll get that into the greenhouse no problem so what I ended up doing was I got the water trailer or the liquid trailer that we had oh crumbs why is this running and um, yeah I got the liquid trailer and uh, loaded the fertilizer into that took it around to the greenhouse plonked it in the greenhouse and you know, everything should be hunky-dory except I realized I'd made a bit of a boo-boo yes what had happened was the uh, the greenhouse maxes out at 3,000 litres, which, you know, okay, fine. That wouldn't actually be a problem, except for the fact that it was. Actually, no, before I drop that off, let me extend the arm all the way out that way. Tilt it like that and then let it go. Uh, yeah, the, the problem with that was the... Um, the greenhouse topped out at 3,000 litres, which is fine. However, it still had just under 500 litres in it. So what I couldn't do was actually um, do the whole thing. I couldn't empty the trailer, which becomes a problem uh, when you realise the uh, the trailer was... Can I lift that? That's still not letting me tilt it upwards, that's weird. Let me pop that down for a second. So I should be able to tilt that upwards. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. Uh, but yeah, so the problem was the greenhouse... Oh, I see what it's doing. Uh, the greenhouse was... Um, still had uh, a bit of fertiliser in it, which meant I couldn't actually offload the trailer entirely. So as a result, we ended up with a trailer that is still partially full which becomes a bit of a problem when you don't have any water in the greenhouse can I drop you off there lovely uh, yeah there isn't enough water in the greenhouse to process the uh, liquid fertilizer to let me get any more uh, to let me empty out the trailer 
So, what I'm going to have to do is pick up these bales here. Uh, I am going to... let's see... Yep, we'll do this. I think I can take this on the, uh, the thing here. Hopefully this will all work as I'm planning for it. Okay, so we got that. Now obviously we're not we're just towing this thing so the fact that the PTO isn't hooked up is just fine. Uh, but what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to drive down to the shop quick and make a small purchase. And that purchase is going to be a little Diddy uh, liquid trailer. It is actually the small brother of the or sister uh, of the one that we've already got. It's the same mod pack but uh, a much smaller version. So uh, I shall pull around here into the old shopperoo with my bales and my baler. <laughs> this really is a handy little uh, little. Um, technically, it's a skid steer, I suppose. But yeah, technically. So uh, let's see. Let's pull in about here and go to. Uh, let's check the sales quick. See if anything else has popped up. Uh, nothing we can A, afford, or B, use. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Uh, what we want is from miscellaneous. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is the trailer that we've got already. The water trailer, 5,000 litres. What I'm going to get this time is this little diddy one for 1,200 uh, euros. It's only 1,500 litres, but that is perfectly fine because uh, all we're going to need to do is transfer some water in just to get the process running again. However, the reason for the other reason for getting this is once we've finished using it with the water, we can actually convert it over to a fuel transport trailer, which is perfect. So uh, we will do that once we've um, done the job with the water. So we'll buy that quick. And it's got a little trailer hitch on the back of it which is absolutely lovely and I'm hoping will oh crumbs my bales are trying to escape why are you trying to escape what is going on with you so if I attach to that there we go what I'm hoping is the attachment on the back of this Excuse me, Mr. Thick. There we go. Lovely. So we've got ourselves a little bit of a road train going on. Fantastic. Now I hope this thing can pull it up the hill. We shall no doubt soon find... Oh, crumbs. Well, that happened, didn't it? Lovely. Okay, well, let's drop that off. That is the only problem with this fantastic little skid steer thing. Because it's an articulated one, and I'm trying to drive it with a controller, it tends to go a bit wonky sometimes. So, yeah. And then that's all it is, is where it's the articulated one. It uh, goes a little bit funny. Sometimes it will, like, overturn. You know, you'll over overturn, and then it won't... Um, straighten up quick enough there we go lovely okay four words there we go splendid uh, yeah so I'll get this back up to the farm and get the rest of the equipment back as well and uh, then we'll see you back down here shortly at the old uh, animal dealer once again but this time we'll be buying some cows and we are back. We've got everything sorted out back up to the farm now. All the equipment is there. And uh, we are coming back to the shop. As you can see, we are on foot. Now, there is a reason we're on foot. And that reason is why we are now seen at 49,000 euros. I'll run across the road quick. Uh, yes, I made another purchase. And I think this is something that is going to help us out in the long run hopefully making life a little bit easier for us. And there it is. A fantastic lizard rumbler uh, flatbed slash 
um, small uh, container truck van thingy. <laughs> Uh, yes, we've got it currently in the um, bail configuration. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's in the bail configuration. That's just tip side mode at the minute. But it's got the straps and everything in it. Uh, so what we can do with this is transport some of our palleted goods a little bit easier. And uh, also tow things around. And we can even load our little um, Avant up into this thing as well and uh, take that places so like when we're doing mowing contracts and stuff uh, we'll be able to load stuff up on the trailer and onto this and then drive drive it all over and uh, get to places a whole lot quicker and all that fun stuff but uh, what we are doing now as i had promised is getting cows i just have to try and get this trailer into that very tiny opening there Okay, a little bit more. Have I got, I've got the wheel stuck. There we go. Smashing. Okay, and let us start loading. We are going to buy ourselves as many full cows as we can get into this thing, which I think is six. Yes, six Holstein female cows, all ready to. Uh, produce and everything so we've got all of them lovely job an exciting 12 grand let's see if we can get out of this place and i've almost bumped the wall there i think lovely okay let's go up the uh, the back way oops i think this is the one way road but oh well there's no traffic coming down here so we'll call it good <laughs> Uh, but yes, this is our first load of lovely cows. Now, I don't anticipate buying, actually buying cows too consistently. I figure we'll get these in, we'll get them breeding. Um, maybe further down the line we'll get some more. And uh, depends on how quick they breed and, and how long we're going for. Because obviously we are going to need milk. That is the uh, the key thing for us, is the milk. And uh, we'll be using that, obviously, for various things. Uh, now, we don't as yet have straw, but we will be getting that eventually from our... Uh, uh, I believe we've got two wheat fields, I think, at the minute. And uh, that will provide us with straw, which we'll get uh, manure with as well. Uh, slurry is not going to be a bad option either, uh, because... Yeah, we'll get a spreader at some point probably and use some of that on our fields okay swing in here and let us go and unload these into our cow pen facility thing <laughs> okay so let us swing around here Go into this view because I know I'll louse it up if I'm not careful, and I loused it up anyway. Can I turn? Please let me turn. Not quite enough. Maybe I should have got the four wheel drive version of this. I'll tell you what I can do. I can get out, I can open that gate, barn door, and I can open that gate. Oh, that's going to be a right mare, isn't it? Maybe if I can drive into this one, I can then back it into there. Can I not? No? Okay, can't do that. Oh, isn't this going to be fun and exciting? <laughs> now watch me have it all horribly stuck completely and utterly. I think I have. I think I've got it well stuck. Oh dear. What a palaver, eh? Just to get the animals in. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to do it this way, aren't I? Close the gate again. No, close the gate. There we go. Ho hum. 
didn't think this through, did I? No. Reversing not my strong point. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's better. Luckily this clamp was empty. So now I can get back here and drop them in. Let's see. Okay, that's open. Back in the van. Back it up. And I can drop it down and open it just for the fantastic visual effect of a cow's bum. Lovely. <laughs> so we are going to deposit our six fantastic cows into the husband dairy. There we go. Fantastic. Let's close that. Pull forwards. Okay, for now, I think we're just going to leave this trailer here. And just park that there for a second. So we can run back down here, close the gate, and look at our lovely lovely cows aren't they glorious okay that's enough looking at the cows now uh, let's go through here now which side do i put the feed in i think we put the feed yeah there we go put it in that side so let's hop over here open this gate and grab some hay now uh yes oh that was the other thing i'm not sure if i mentioned it before but we did actually purchase uh, we had installed a lovely water point just here you can see it there under the old marker there's a, a hose for washing our vehicles off and we can fill up trailers and stuff from there as well so that should be good now let's get 9,000 liters of hay in here and see what happens hopefully they will take it straight off of the uh the bales if I can drop it oh crumbs there we go that went straight in there and let's have a look and see animals there we go they will eat ooh, alfalfa grass slash hay okay so we might have to get some alfalfa on the go as well now there isn't a lot of um, a lot of food for them but it is food for them so we'll be uh, We'll be good with that. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. I don't think we're going to give them too much right now. Just for the sake of seeing how quick it goes down every month, that sort of thing. So we'll park that up there. And uh, let's close this door. But there we go. We've got some happy cows. And we are down to 37 grand. Now, can we do anything else with that? Because I was looking at purchasing a couple of fields as well. Because we've got this little one here, which is... We could still get that. That, I think, has canola in it at the moment. Um, obviously, that will come to uh, fruit next year. We can harvest it and sell it, and that will be fine. Uh, let's see. There is this one as well. That one we can get. That's the grass field. Now that we could always purchase and then switch to alfalfa for something different. You know what? I think we're going to do that for right now. So I'm going to purchase that because it's only 30 grand. Massive honking field that it is. Purchase. Lovely job. Now we are obviously down quite low on funds again. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, from now until the next episode is uh, get this little jobby loaded up with um, cucumbers we've got some cucumbers to sell and potentially a bit more coffee as well that way we can take a load down get it all sold and uh, have ourselves some fun get some more money going in now uh, if i remember correctly see and that's the beauty of this thing now i don't have to have something with a trailer uh, unless we need to, we can sort of park this up wherever we want. In fact, I'm going to park it up right about here for now. 
and uh, if I can just pop this up for now we're going to set the tip side to tip side all which means when we open the sides it does that plops them all down and we've got a nice flat bed so we can stack some stuff up on there and everything will be hunky dory lovely so yeah uh, we've got six pallets of um, cucumbers to sell that'll be another I think six seven eight grand maybe uh, we've also got um, all these pallets of coffee beans left to sell three six nine of those so that should get us a, a fair chunk of change as well and for now I'm going to run over here grab the Avant and get loading so there are our cows mooing happily away there <laughs> And we do have plenty of food for them. I don't think they're doing anything much yet at the moment. They're just doing cow things, being cows. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I do hope you've enjoyed whatever this was. And uh, if you have, do please give us a like and consider hitting the old subscribe button there too if you have not already. And comments are always welcomed. And if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> and on that note, uh, myself and the cows will bid you all farewell. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone.